I wanted to do another video uh, about the, uh, the video I did, the powers and the people, not in your guns. Uh, mostly for me, I just, just want to kind of talk it out. Uh, but my thinking here, from what I've observed in the news and in the past, is nothing has ever changed really by an armed uprising. Or the armed uprising may have been what pushed the change over the limit, but it wasn't necessarily the armed uprising. It was the moment that the opposition with the guns, uh, say in the case of the United States, if the police and the military put down their weapons. It wasn't the fact, it, it's from what I've seen, and I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but the majority of times when there is a rebellion or a revolution or or some sort of protest that the when you know you've made a difference when you know something is about to change is when the the man the military the police the other people pointing guns at the people when they decide that it's too much and they need to lay down their weapons and address the politicians or the powers in charge, or the powers that be. It's not until that point, when the people that already have all the weapons, the government, when when the government officials or the government defenders no longer are able, because of their convictions, to morally defend a corrupt government. <clears throat> So when I when I was saying that it's not it's not your guns, it's the people, because because you, you've always everybody always said it's not guns that pe kill people, people kill people. Well, yes, I believe that's absolutely right. A gun sitting all by itself, unless it's some weird glitch, will never kill anybody. It's sitting there all by itself as long as nobody ever touches it. It's a a a lump of metal. Uh. But it's when people pick it up. And people always pick them up. <laughs> That's where the problem is. So, I, I know a lot of people are so against the government's regulation of guns. I, to me, that's not the issue. Uh, there's countries that have mandatory gun possession. You have to be trained to work and take care of this machine gun, this automatic weapon. There's countries where you have to do that to be a citizen. And then there's countries where you're not allowed to even own a pistol or a, sh uh, a hunting rifle. You can't own anything. And in both those scenarios, uprisings happen and work. When the people become numerous enough and the people include the people with guns, the ones that are allowed to by the government, when they finally say, this is bullshit, that's when it changes. So, I guess my, my thought is that I think we should focus on the people. This would be, I guess, to libertarian gun rights amendment guys, people that say it's the guns, it's all about the guns, we have to have gun rights, and we have to have all of our, we have, I need to have a bazooka to feel safe against the government. I wish they would put more effort into convincing these bullies with guns already to have empathy for the people, and to actually, instead of be leaders of the people and dictate to the people, uh, understand or, or finally realize that politicians should be representatives and represent the people, and they clearly are not representing the people. I guess that's one, just another beef this morning. Hope everyone is feeling all right. Good luck.